South Australia's notorious bank robber, the bicycle bandit, has copped a staggering 35-year jail term for his decade-long reign of terror. But Kim Parsons may not spend another night behind bars as he prepares to end his own life. April 2006, masked, armed and dangerous, Kim Parsons storms the Bank SA branch at Tanunda. For senior teller Rose Linda, it feels like yesterday. As I lived it, it was horrific. We had a gun aimed at us. Who knew if he had bullets or not? She wasn't physically hurt, but the psychological wounds run deep. The victims are still victims. The banks get their money back. His family get to keep all of their assets and he gets to take his own life on his selfish terms. Victims of this crime are again the losers today. Parsons, a former police officer, committed 10 terrifying armed hold-ups, hitting one branch three times, his crimes leaving dozens of victims traumatised for life. I'm just glad it's over. Everybody else is the same and I've connected with my workmates again. The court heard some of the angry threats, including, hurry up or there'll be blood on the floor. It's going to get nasty, lady. A DNA hit from blood left on a fence during one of his getaways led to his arrest in October. Today, he was sentenced to 35 years jail, but he may not spend another night behind bars. Terminally ill, he's expected to end his own life any day with a voluntary assisted dying kit. The judge said Parsons saw the terror in his victims' eyes each time he pointed his gun at them, yet he repeated his crimes over and over again, describing his conduct as morally reprehensible. He stole almost $360,000, which he's agreed to repay, but victims say his tearful 11th hour apologies come too late. That apology was to his wife and his adult children. There's closure. I guess it'll always be with me, but that's trauma. Deanna Williams, 7 News. And Dee, Parsons is expected to end his own life at the Flinders Medical Centre. He is, Rosanna, possibly as soon as tonight. Now, we know that today's hearing is brought forward so he could be sentenced before his death. He promised not to use the voluntary assisted dying kit before learning his fate so his victims could at least get some closure. But as we just heard, they say this is not justice. Seven News understands Parsons wanted to be brought here to Flinders from the Adelaide Remand Centre soon after today's hearing. The judge said his death is imminent, that his cancer is, has infected his brain, bones and lungs. He appeared by video link. The courtroom was packed with victims, but there was no sign of his wife or his daughters. And the judge said that they too are victims of his crimes. I'm just glad it's over. It's still traumatising for you after so long. <laughs> yeah, but everybody else is the same and I've connected with my workmates again. <sighs> The victims are still victims. The banks get their money back, his family get to keep all of their assets, and he gets to take his own life on his selfish terms. Yet we victims and our families get to continue with his cowardly actions every day. Victims of this crime are again the losers today. As I lived it, it was horrific.